Looks like we had a nice new calf last night. But over here, look at this. The first Hereford had her calf. Nice healthy bull calf. She's a good mother, but a little disappointed in the calf. We were hoping for a really nice, noticeable white lid on it. But it's just got a brockle face, but nonetheless, we got the first Hereford down and it's a nice calf. Couple calves in the back. Two new babies. Nice. Come on, girls. Hey, hey, hey. Yep, let's go. The back of the barn, which is where the calves are at, is pretty clean, but as you can see up front here, getting quite dirty. Oh, she's got a big old bag. She's gonna be calving here today, I'm sure. So we're gonna get the skid loader back here and clean it out. Also, we got two calves to deal with. back give those two new calves the optimizer gel spray their navel give them some tags and then we're gonna shove them in the back corner so I can get clean in that building So it's a little wet outside, unpleasant weather. Like I said, we're gonna clean this building. So we're gonna shove these two calves in the back. It's insulated, it's pretty clean in there. And so they'll be, they'll be out of my way and out of the dust. A Little bit ago, they were running all over. So fun fact, one of these calves, I think it's the one dad has, we put the cow in the barn last night about five o'clock. He texted me and said, I think I want to get this one in. And so we did and then she calved and we're glad we did it now. Otherwise we'd have a calf that's chilled outside. We had some awesome temperatures at the end of last week, which means we had a lot of melting and it got muddy. So hopefully I can drive around there and get in the building without getting stuck. So apparently we got another winter storm coming. Uh, we got good news and bad news though. Start with the good news that it's not gonna get that cold. It's not gonna get below zero, which is obviously really nice because it sucks when it gets that cold. Bad news is, saw one prediction of up to 36 inches of snow. Which that's a little, I, that's a little excessive in my opinion. And then these girls are cleaning up some hay before we feed them a new one, we're gonna try to clean up where they're eating. They've been pooping in a, they've been pooping a lot in there, so we want to get that cleaned up. Got the mess cleaned up. 
little wet down there, so we're going to let it air out. And that's why we use barn lime so often every time we clean the barn because that stuff will kill the bacteria. It'll soak up that moisture. And, you know, on this cold day, it's not going to dry up very well anyway. So now we're going to go around because the cows are eating on the other side of that wall. We're going to kick them out, open a gate, and try to clean up where they're eating. A lot of manure in there. We got just a little bit of space left so we can fill this the rest of the way. Anticipated. We're gonna have to spread that, come back and fill her up, and then get new bedding in that barn, get these girls a bale. They're waiting for me. It's chunky. We can see some concrete now. That took a while. Ed's done feeding. I don't know what he's doing now, but we'll get that lime spread and start shooting that new bedding in there. Got me a couple bales to shred. Buggers, get out. Go. Ah. Ed got these two fed. Nothing started calving yet. We're gonna go feed a bale and then it's about lunchtime. Sun's poking out a little bit. Didn't expect that. We pretty much have a chance of snow every day this week. Today's Monday.
and we still just got a part load not worth taking dead piled up some old spilt spoiled feed over here that we're gonna throw in then we'll haul this out and we'll be done manure spreading for the day doesn't that look nice oh, that's a pretty big pile actually Got a big pile back there. I guess it's going to take one more load. Dad's got some corn stalks loaded up. We are planning on selling cattle on Thursday. A pen or two of Dad's and then Jeff's home raised and my home raised. But you know, with that storm coming, we're not sure if we'll be able to bring them in. And you know, sometimes when those storms come, local demand gets pretty low because they don't because people don't want to be dealing with that when it's crappy out. So we'll watch the forecast, but hopefully we can sell some cattle. We're getting low on corn in the bunkers. The market's hot. Last Thursday, it was the highest it's been. It would have been a good day to sell last Thursday. Big load. time. Been flip-flopping this tub back and forth so each so both groups can get some mineral. We got some fancy stuff in this mineral to keep them from shedding some specific pathogens that we don't want their calves to be getting. So it's pretty important for them to get that. So y'all know we've been having a pretty wet winter, which we need the moisture, but it's setting us up for getting sick calves. And why is that? Well, they can be stressed a little more because they gotta walk through mud, but also a cow will poop in some water and then a calf will go and drink it. And that's just not good. So a couple things we're doing, we got some special expensive mineral in there, 50 bucks a bag that only the calves can eat. And so hopefully they stock up on that. I got some barn lime. We're going to spread that throughout here because obviously they're spending a lot of time pooping and peeing in there. And then later we'll come in and put some new bedding on top. Look good. Big thing is looking for clean bottoms. Tony Bolt, twenty one heifer, twenty to twenty one. So we're at forty one, and you know what that means? We're almost to fifty, which you know what that means? We're halfway to a hundred, which you know what that means? Then we get to take a shot. <laughs> so that's pretty good. You know, usually we're about ten heifers above that bowls about this time but we're pretty dang close a new set of names that have not been named on the yeah, channel and i don't know for sure where we last ended well not exactly except this says they've been read off these two there's another line under them and i'm not sure why have we mentioned walter and chloe yes we have okay so now i know where to start ex girl name was alice and then that night that this calf was born. I went to a basketball game in Mount Vernon and a young man that watches our channel got recognized for scoring the most points in Mount Vernon's history ever mm -hmm. and rebounding and assists. So I named that bull calf after Reed. Congratulations Reed. And then another boy was Mike who actually 
was another fellow we knew that held the record before Reed. Mm. So Reed and Mike together in the claving book forever. Claves! 2023. Claves! And then Beth was born, and Kelly Joe, and Mary Ann. Mary Ann actually keeps track of all my songs of the day. Mm -hmm. She just texted me the other day. I've done 159 songs of the day, and I've never done a repeat yet. Congrats. Yeah, thank you. Just a few that were the wrong singer, but... Thanks, Cole. You're welcome. I gotta keep little, you humble. Then our little buddy Corbin got named after a bull this today. Good job, Corbin. And then Nancy. Nancy got named. And then Gar. We're finishing the day with Gar. It's a good pirate name, wouldn't you say, Cole? You bet. Like Steve. Steve the pirate. And Gar. Are you serious? Gotta make it difficult. Oh my. Guess I should open that gate wide. It's hard for some of them. There. I'm sure it's drinky time, so wake up. So, Dad, would you say that this is the first time in decades that a Hereford calved? on this farm pretty sure of it yep the first cow i ever bought <clears throat> i had two hereford cows in 1982 and we had a bad april snowstorm that year i lost my calf lost one of my calves in the snowstorm that year hmm. we were out we couldn't see we were driving along looking for calves we had a whole we had like 30 of them in a fairing house in the at dad's place and keeping them warm overnight and couldn't find like two of them and one of them was mine mm -hmm. so I didn't start off very good with the Herefords or with cattle mm -hmm. cool yeah what's the song of the day you ask yeah what is it I've been dying to know okay so the song of the day is China Grove by the Doobie Brothers that'll stick in your head song of the day So dad's putting the rest of the critters away at home and I'm gonna check on the stuff at my place. They got some mineral left. Got this gate open and so they've been spending a lot of time in the bigger part. They like the space and also this really old building that I'm surprised hasn't fallen down yet that they've been hiding in. That roof is being held up by nothing. Well, things are looking good over here. They got some space, they got some dry spots. They have lowered the amount of snow we're expected to get. Not sure exactly what it's gonna end up being. Just hope it comes fast and then the sun comes out and we can start getting over it and getting into springtime. It's been a long enough winter, I think. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Love to see you next time. Have a good one.